This is your AESH Electric Energy News Minute for Tuesday, February 22, 2022. In mainstream news. CNBC reports, France defends its big nuclear adventure, says it is influenced by geopolitics. French Finance Minister Bruno Le Maire told CNBC on Friday that the country's decision to bet big on nuclear power was driven by geopolitical concerns and the desire to achieve total energy independence. His comments come shortly after French President Emmanuel Macron pledged to build at least six new nuclear reactors in the decades to come, with the option for another eight. The move controversially places atomic power at the center of France's bid to achieve carbon neutrality by the middle of the century. Bloomberg headline, Saudi Aramco sees good signs oil demands rising as shares hit record. Saudi Aramco shares rose to an all-time high after the chief executive officer of the world's biggest energy company said oil demand continues to rebound from the pandemic, including in its main market of Asia. The stock gained as much as 6.6% to a record 40.2 reals before pairing gains to 4.2% as of 12.15 p.m. in Riyadh. With the global recovery we're seeing today, there is more demand for products and we see that from different enclaves, especially in Asia," CEO Amin Nasser said during a speech in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia's capital. There's some pickup in the rest of the world. The Financial Times reports, U.S. faces a time crunch to reach Biden's offshore wind target. Wall Street Journal headline, What's behind Wall Street's $100 oil forecast? A barrel hasn't cost that much since the summer of 2014, before OPEC launched a price war with U.S. shale producers and sent oil prices into a years-long slump. Early in the pandemic, prices fell to uncharted depths. But the bust ended last year, when crude prices gained more than 50 percent and oil stocks led the broader market higher. Analysts expect oil demand to return to pre-pandemic levels this year and say that prices need to rise higher, yet to entice U.S. producers to drill more wells and to discourage consumption that has been unbowed by the highest gasoline prices in years. Forbes headline, Nikola kicks off hydrogen truck tests with pre-Super Bowl beer runs for Anheuser-Busch. Electric truck maker Nikola Corporation, which recently started delivering its first battery-powered Semis, is showing off its longer-range hydrogen-fueled models by hauling beer for Anheuser-Busch around Los Angeles ahead of this weekend's Super Bowl 56. The Phoenix-based company, along with Bid Motors, is making zero-emission deliveries of Bud Light Next, a new carb-free beer the brewing giant is promoting prior to the championship game. BBC reports, business fires up the backup generator as costs rise. Soaring energy costs are hitting businesses as hard as they're looming for households, making even diesel generators a more attractive option than buying power from the grid. Other costs are crowding in — raw materials, packaging, recruitment and retention, insurance, shipping, haulage, and payroll tax is soon to rise for both employers and employees. More than three-quarters of businesses are putting up prices more than they normally would or they expect to. And they face the added threat of consumer spending being pulled back as household budgets are soaked up by rising heating and fuel bills. EnergyLiveNews.com reports, Storm Eunice knocks down chimney at Grain Power Station. A chimney at Grain Power Station in Kent was knocked down as a result of the huge gusts of Storm Eunice. The power station near Rochester was left with only two chimneys after one was severely damaged by the storm. Photos and videos on social media show the middle tower chimney falling and completely disappearing from the landscape. PowerGrid.com reports. Texas could connect to national power grids without losing autonomy, former grid regulator says. Texas could connect its decentralized electrical grid to the rest of the country's system without losing autonomy and without action from the state legislature, according to Pat Wood, who previously served as the top official for both the state's and the nation's energy regulators. This has been your AESH Electric Energy News Minute for Tuesday, February 22, 2022. If you want more global electric energy news and real-time alerts, hit the subscribe button now and follow us on social media.